it's, it's a kind of representation of like the kind of conversation because nobody really wanted to commit to writing. <laughs> Today, I think the big message was about um, lived experiences and about opening up discussion by being open and honest and how that should come from the top. We went out and asked five employees if they would anonymously give us a case study based on their experiences. For some employees that was through the recruitment process with reasonable adjustments, some of them that was being off work and returning, and for some it was being at work with their mental health and how they supported. So we've found there's been really good feedback on them because they are real life experiences so people can relate to them. Sometimes when you talk about wellbeing in the workplace, sometimes people smile and they nod. And, but when the financials are mentioned and the and impact on productivity and the impact on our customers, that can be a way sometimes to get through to senior leaders the need for this. A key thing has been about supporting managers. We have internal training that we, we use um, with our, our management team. We're able to create mental health first aiders within our, our workplace. Started with 16 now of 185 first aiders, so trying to have one in every site. But we know that just having a first day there alone isn't going to make everything better, it's about the culture. It's been about using the materials from CME, the videos, the training, all these things. Um, staff have really got on board and it's really brought people out who are, are now able to and willing to talk about their own mental health and their own lived experience to share with others. Mental health and wellbeing is firmly on the agenda on a weekly basis. We try not to make it dry or you know dull and boring. We've done exercises like vision boards, um, mental health walks with staff, with service users, just opening up that conversation across the community as well as within our team. We have a conference uh, where all the mental health first aiders in DWP Scotland will be attending, so we're going to show them like what the action plan is and how we want to deliver CME within the workplace to make sure that we try to drive down the stigma of mental health and so that everybody knows that we're all there to help one another. We've done some events with the FTA Union, we are currently doing a Saltire article, which is our kind of intranet system for the whole of the Scottish Government to talk about our partnership with CME, to talk about how we have used the survey to help us create the action plan. So gradually more and more people are starting to come to us and starting out on that journey. We don't have a staff room in our school, um, as a lot of schools don't in South and North Lanarkshire, so therefore how do we work um, to, to really open up that conversation around mental health and tackle the stigma that, that our staff kind of feel um, is in existence. We've engaged with this programme since June last year and um, we're just now starting to see the benefits of that with staff, open and honest conversations around mental health, open and honest feedback from staff to line managers. The difference that we've seen in the last year has, has really been quite significant to date. We are preparing schools to take part in the baseline surveys again because a few years have passed since we've done that and from that I am hoping that I've, I can get that buy-in from staff because as I say we've, we do already have members of staff who believe in the work that's, that's happening with CME and I believe that with work and effort we could make that, make that even bigger.